We know that people who have no leptin at all, um, very rare, but there are some children who've got congenital leptin deficiency. This was identified in the 1990s. Those children, after a few years, present with massive obesity. They're very hungry, they gain weight, they have infections, and those individuals who, if you treat with leptin, it helps them lose weight. People then thought, ah, this hormone is a satiety hormone that treats hunger, and therefore it will work in all obese people. When it didn't work in everyone who was obese, everyone said, oh, I don't understand that, and they, they put it on the shelf. What we're coming back with is thinking, well, if it worked with people with no leptin, maybe it works in people who have just a little bit of leptin that's driving their hunger. So it's a straightforward hypothesis that leptin is a hormone. If you have enough leptin, giving leptin really won't make much difference. But if you have low leptin, it will work. So we're evolving the story from leptin is not from everyone, but to those people with minimal or low leptin levels. In parallel to doing this work, we need to identify leptin levels in obese and type 2 and find out whether um, low leptin um, metabolic disturbance, um, how common it is. So we know by the leptin levels we look that it's, it's 1 to 2% because we're targeting people with low leptins. But we don't know what these people look like. So future work will be taking people who have low leptin and obese, comparing them to people who have high leptin and obese, and see if these people, other than their leptin levels, maybe look differently. And we believe that leptin, because it controls metabolism, that the low leptin people may have may be more prone to diabetes and other metabolic conditions that are driven by the mechanism of leptin action. So most people think leptin is associated with lipodystrophy. So if you have no fat, um, you don't secrete leptin. And the main treatment for leptin it's approved for is lipodystrophy. So people with generalized lipodystrophy have no fat. So the odd thing is, well, why would it work in people who have lots of fat? So the key thing is we have people who are obese and overweight and there's a small population that are not producing leptin. So most people think that um, people who are obese have lots of leptin and the reason leptin isn't working is because they're resistant to leptin. The key thing about this poster is there are some people who are obese who have low leptin and they may benefit from leptin.